Gaming headsets are an underrated peripheral to have if you want to take your performance to the next level. A good gaming headset should be comfortable, easy to connect, and have a balanced soundscape. The SteelSeries Arctis 9 is a high-end headset that costs around $200. It's from a well-respected brand, and there's a lot to like about it. So does it deliver? And after you get it, what should you expect? The SteelSeries Arctis 9 is a wireless headset primarily based from a dense high-grade plastic with a brushed steel suspension frame that feels durable. I found the padded leatherette ear cups and adjustable ski goggle style headband to be very comfortable without too much clamping. I had no problem wearing them during long gaming sessions. It also manages heat well and the cups swivel to fold flat. The right ear cup houses most of the controls which include a power button, a bluetooth pairing, a microphone mute button, and a volume dial. But I thought that the layout was a little bit busy at times. The left ear cup also has the microphone and the chat mix dial to balance between audio sources. It comes with Bluetooth 4.1 connectivity, which increases compatibility, although I really would have liked to see Bluetooth 5.0. You also get a lossless 2.4 GHz dongle, which gives you a connection range of up to 40 feet, and it's compatible with the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation consoles. I was impressed by the signal strength, which remained relatively strong even between walls in the next room. You even get a 3.5mm headphone jack for wired compatibility and increased versatility. I loved the multi-point connectivity which allows you to stream one audio source from the 2.4 GHz transmitter and a separate audio source from a Bluetooth device. This means you can listen to two different things simultaneously, like a podcast from your phone while you're gaming. While the battery life is a bit shorter than the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro, I was still impressed with it. You should get around 20 hours of playtime depending on your volume levels and usage, although the 5.5 hour charging time is a little bit lengthy. I found the auto power down feature especially helpful, which shuts it off after a period of inactivity to preserve some of the power. You also get access to the expansive SteelSeries companion software, Engine 3, which gives you a host of customizable settings. These parameters allow me to fine tune the soundscape using a 10 band equalizer, and they give me access to some nice EQ presets. These enhancements are also useful, which include a bass boost and a dialogue enhancement, which I thought added a nice boost to the mid-range frequencies. Engine 3 lets you enable DTS-X2, which delivers the virtual 7.1 surround sound and it gives you more detailed, spacious, and immersive listening experience. You also get different sound profiles, including studio, game, and cinema modes. I appreciated that Engine 3 gave me a battery life reading, unlike the Razer offerings. You also get limited microphone related parameters, and you can customize how much of your voice and ambient background noise you hear, along with some volume and side tone adjustments. The Arctis 9 delivers a high-end audio performance, and you get good sound versatility here as well. I found the 40mm Neodynam drivers to be powerful, and the 32 ohm impedance and 20 to 20,000 hertz frequency response range can accurately reproduce tones across the frequency spectrum without noticeable distortion. Overall, I thought the sound was well balanced with robust mids, clear treble, and good low end presence, although not quite sub bass level. Unfortunately, the noise isolation is only average for a gaming headset, so it won't block out a ton of ambient noise. You get a wide soundscape that really enhances your gaming experience with precise sound imaging and a solid three-dimensionality, especially with DTS-X enabled. Considering the soundscape is geared towards gaming, I was actually impressed with its music performance. It comes with a Discord certified retractable microphone and a frequency response range of 100 to 6500 Hz. I thought it performed well and my voice rang through relatively clearly, although there did seem to be a slight de-emphasis on bass tones, so people with deep voices might sound somewhat tinny and quiet. It also gives you some ambient noise cancellation, which is enhanced by the bi-directional design, so only sounds close to the microphone will register. So is the SteelSeries Arctis 9 worth the money? Personally, I think it's one of the best top-end options available. I think it's worth every penny of its price, even if some solid alternatives exist. The Razer Nari Ultimate is around the same price, and it comes with RGB lighting if you want a more gamer-friendly aesthetic. But the soundstage is narrower, and the battery life is shorter. The Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Gen 2 costs a little bit less, and it delivers some of the features along with an improved battery, but it doesn't have the built-in surround sound. I would recommend the SteelSeries Arctis 9 because it delivers good performance across the board with solid battery life, multi-platform connectivity, a wide soundscape, and the immersive 7.1 surround sound. While it lacks some lighting, which you can't see when you're wearing the headset anyway, it makes up for that in sound performance, which I think is one of the most important aspects when choosing a gaming headset. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or found this video helpful, please give it a like, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.